For this dish, we'll start by peeling some garlic. A few cloves is sufficient. Then we simply smash it to release its flavor. Then we have some very traditional fermented bean paste here. This is savory and sweet at the same time. This will add a lot of aroma and flavor to this dish. So we'll start by heating our skillet. Add some oil to it. Then we can start stir-frying our garlic. Then we'll add our bean paste to it. Uh, to allow it to release its flavor. Then we can add our pork ribs to this whole dish. We want to brown this pork rib slightly before we add our Chinese chestnut or Phoenix high fruit and a tad of dark soy sauce to give it a nice color. of water to this and cover it for 45 minutes at low heat and we allow this to slowly stew you can see it has reduced nicely the sauce has thicken up so this is perfect now we can start moving to plating and we'll just sprinkle some spring onion as garnish Welcome back to Amazing Kitchen. Today we're making a very unique dish. As you can see how it was cooked, it was a simple stew that has been going on for 45 minutes. This food is very local to the Chinese culture across the Eastern Oriental uh, cuisines. I've seen a lot. This is called the Phoenix Eye Fruit or the, it's a Chinese chestnut. This is how it looks on the tree. And once it's taken down, the fruit is ripe. As you can see the seed inside. Once it's taken out, there's a shell, a dark color shell on it. Once we remove the shell, the casing, it becomes a nice light brown hue like this. And once you soak it in water and stew it, it becomes soft. Just like a chestnut flavor, but it has a nice sweetness to it. So, let's give this a try. Mm. It has a very nutty, sweet taste to it. Very, very different. If you've never tried this, look for this at your local Chinese grocery store. Now let's try one of our uh, pork rib that's been stewing for some time. Nice and soft, but not fall off the bone soft because we want a nice uh, chew to it. It's about 45 minutes, it's about right, under low heat. This is very nice. Mm. Well, Phoenix eye fruit. Very nice and very good for you. It even has medicinal properties like it's very good for your spleen. It helps stop diarrhea if you do. Of course, um, with so much good food, I mean, I don't think we'll be facing that. Excellent. Thank you for watching again. If you like what we have today, remember to subscribe. Until next time, bye now. Make sure you check our traditional Asian dishes such as the pork knuckle soup, uh, stew, as well as the braised pork and many others. I'll leave the link above so you can refer to it and let us know, comment below what you think. Thank you very much. Bye now.